the pandemic has generated many crises in each and every country, impacting healthcare, education, the whole economy. Disputes and conflicts were raised by societies seeking for answers, how to reinvent ourselves, how to rebuild the old new normal. After months of deadlock and disruptions, the global panic has evolved into hope expressed by transformation and adaptation. Is there any chance for humanity to build the harmony in this daily changing world? Just like uh, an orchestra creates harmony, the business can be the leading violin tuning all the stakeholders towards the common goal of people's welfare and countries' development. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests from all around the world, my name is Rodika Verbenyuk and I take the pride to welcome you to Moldova Business Week 2020. During the pandemic times, the Invest Moldova Agency, which I proudly represent, has assumed the role of guiding the local business community in its pathway for transformation and adaptation to the new economic reality. We have re-evaluated our resources, identified what makes us unique, and made it to an authentic business approach, striving to transform restrictions into opportunities. 
Our team continued its mission of attracting investments, assisting exporters in reshaping their access strategies on foreign markets, and promoting Moldova as a rediscovered option for traveling. The pandemic didn't stop us, it did actually quite the opposite. We launched online platforms where foreign investors from Belgium, Hungary, Turkey, Russian Federation, Japan could meet Moldovan business and build up the common ground for partnership. We created a pool of experts, including foreign investors operating in Moldova, to help our business in the process of going through labor force crisis, human resources management, marketing and communications. We offered support for product promotion using trade and fairs platforms, directly generating exports of over 33 million euros. We assisted in launching five new investment projects with a total value of announced investment of over 30 million euros. From Germany in the automotive and IT sectors. From Great Britain in electronics. From Russian Federation in the production of thermal insulation materials for constructions. Keeping our approach further, we dared to take Moldova for global recognition. But spreading the word about Moldova could it be done without our citizens abroad. Diaspora and diplomatic missions help, which are actively involved in promoting their native country. Thank you for being Moldova's voice in the world. So, in its seventh edition, Moldova Business Week is a proven testimonial of change. Being transitioned to a virtual event, hosted entirely online, will address during two days the current global trends, economic challenges, and the ever-evolving global market. But the main reasons you are here today is to explore Moldova in a new spotlight. As a new European country, that has been called for its unique features and facilities, the hidden gem for investment. Why Moldova? Just a few reasons. Positioned geographically between East and West, Moldova can be your business hub for cross-border exports, with access to a market of over 1 billion customers. Our digital potential combined with advanced ICT infrastructure and progressive services digitalization can help you easily to start and run a business. Creative industries and organic agri-food are the two promising niche sectors to harness. We are confident that during the pitching sessions you'll discover many great investment and partnership offers presented by local entrepreneurs good reasons for you to decide to grow your business in a sustainable way here in Moldova. Why Moldova? This is the question that we would like each of you to find your own answer during these two days. When harmony is disrupted, it transforms into an opportunity for us to learn, change and evolve until we find a new equilibrium. Moldova has its own role to play in this global exercise, and we encourage you to be part of our story. Ladies and gentlemen, to endorse the strategic importance of our event for the country's economic development, I take the honor to invite to this stage the Prime Ministers of the Republic of Moldova, Mr. Ion Kiku. Excellencies, dear ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you to the seventh edition of one of our major national economic events, Moldova Business Week. 
Thank you for joining us and please allow me from the outset to express our appreciation to the Moldovan Investment Agency for organizing this important event, which is already a great tradition. I'm delighted and honored to be opening the event, which brings together governmental officials, development partners, representatives of the international community, inspirational leaders, insightful experts, visionary entrepreneurs. The world is currently facing an unprecedented crisis caused by COVID-19 pandemic. It has brought into the picture many fast-moving and unexpected disruptions and uncertainties, most of which the government across the world were not prepared to handle. On the other hand, and while our economies and societies are adapting to a new global economic reality, it is my belief that the crisis could also offer many lessons and opportunities for the future. Taking it from there, we have to engage in the right way and we have to make the right decisions required to build a new economic agenda for growing sustainable and inclusive economies that provide opportunity for all. Moldovan economy, just like many others across the world, is going through challenging times. Among the most affected sectors of our economy were trade, manufacturing, transport, and storage services. However, and despite the deepest economic decline registered in the second quarter of the current year, we expect that the Moldovan economy will enter in 2021 a phase of a gradual recovery with a positive trend. Despite the crisis, the priorities on the agenda of the government have not changed. Leading the Republic of Moldova towards a sustainable, digital and resilient economy is at the forefront of our dedicated efforts. Boosting economic growth and development moving forward with structural transformation and reforms, fostering a rules-based business environment, continuously improving living standards and the investment climate, promoting a clear vision of high-performance agriculture and high-added value industries, securing well-paid jobs, giving people pride in using their skills, offering necessary conditions for making competitive products, remain key goals of the agenda of the government of the Republic of Moldova. The economic ambitions of our country are driven by a tax system friendly to the business environment and an unprecedented openness to deliver trade and business partnerships around the world. Moldova has embraced an open, dynamic economy and free trade as drivers of innovation and growth. A ranked 48th among 190 global economies in the World Bank's Doing Business Ranking 2020, Moldova is an unequivocally business-friendly economy and an emerging destination for investments matching diverse investing tastes. It aims at driving investment opportunities for businesses and spreading the benefits of traditional strategic economic sectors such as agri-food, infrastructure, ICT and BPO, electronic manufacturing and R&D, manufacturing and fashion, as well as of new sectors, such as creative industries, bio and organic agri-food, renewable energy, generating thus high value added for the global economy. With a strategic geographical position and neighboring the European Union to, it, to its east, with a series of free trade agreements, both with the West and East, the Republic of Moldova has gained a privileged access to a large export market for Moldovan goods and services, providing also opportunities for building and further strengthening sustainable business partnerships. While Moldova works hardly to implement the association agreement with the EU, we managed to have a balanced foreign policy, strengthening our strategic relationship with both Western and Eastern partners. I strongly believe that we need to keep further this approach in order to secure our privileged access to export markets. Whatever your business, Moldova, or East meets West, is a place to look forward with confidence. 
tax and regulatory predictability, stability of the budgetary and financial systems, accelerated digitalization that can be expected to create new business models and opportunities for digital leapfrogging in traditional and niche industries and governments are among strengths and advantages to be considered. With a 1.4% budgetary deficit, 3% CPI and 25% governmental debit, debt ratio on GDP at the end of 2019, Moldova is one of the most macroeconomically stable countries in the region. And I would say even the pandemic did not significantly change the picture. While the debt ratio will raise by a couple of points, it will remain the lowest in the region. The budgetary deficit this year will not exceed 6% of GDP, which also is one of the lowest around us. And what is important to mention is that we managed to cover most of this deficit using internal resources, applying an active and efficient liquidity management strategy. We managed to place government securities at significantly lower rates than in 2019. Depends on maturities, but for some securities, the interest rate dropped by a quarter. Even yesterday, after the elections, when the Minister of Finance issued a new portion of securities, the interest rates kept their downward trend. And yes, about the elections. I think my country gave last Sunday a good example on how to organize democratic elections and finish the process immediately after the voting day. Whatever you are looking to gain, access to the Western or Eastern markets, optimizing operational costs with one of the lowest corporate income tax in Europe, skilled and low-cost labor, relocating and staying close to your distribution or assembly facility, Moldova is the place that meets your needs. Having in mind delivering an economy that is knowledge-rich, innovative, highly skilled and high quality, by locating in Moldova, businesses and investors will also be able to access the required talent. One of our focuses in the economic recovery and growth is substantial public investment infrastructure, which is strongly required for fully unlocking the investment and business potential in our country. With the support of our development partners, large-scale national projects with dozens of road construction and reconstruction sites have been launched, which are now fulfilled to a large extent. We managed this year to connect our gas supply infrastructure to the European one, and I would like to use this opportunity to thank the government of Romania for their great contribution to that. We launched also this year the process of the national electricity system connection to the European one. And it is obvious that for the next years, we'll keep investing massively in our public infrastructure. As the newest emerging investment destination, the Moldovan economy offers attractive business models for growth. Along with the continuous state support for the existing seven free economic zones and 10 industrial parks, which offer a variety of incentives, the reindustrialization of the country is another ambitious national project. Improved, approved by the government last month, the pilot project aims at setting up and de de developing 18 multifunctional industrial platforms as centers of excellence for industrial development in various regions of the country. It will largely contribute to enhancing the industrial development attractiveness, fostering competitiveness, but also creating more opportunities and new jobs. At its heart, our economic development strategy is about constantly improving the approach to the economy for the future. It's about harnessing the enormous power of the business as partner in tackling some of the greatest challenges of our time. It is not about telling business what to do, but instead genuinely listening to business and working in partnership. Friends, we are the most obedient to business government in the world. In a rapidly changing world, and as the pandemic crisis has taught us, digitalization is no longer an option, it is a necessity. We are happy to see that the digital information transformation is already a reality in Moldova. 
digital economy and IT sector development as the main engine of transformation and modernization is one of the priorities of the government. Supported by successful implementation of both the national strategy for the development of the information technology and of the ecosystem for digital innovation for the years 1823, the IT industry with a share of 7% in national GDP has become one of the fastest, fastest growing sectors and the growth leader for several years. Due to the state policy in supporting the IT sector, the growth figures for IT sales are still increasing by 40-50% per year for the third year in a row. In 2019, Moldovan IT Park, which is a unique model of its kind in supporting the development of the IT sector, was recognized by the International Telecommunication, Telecommunication Union as one of the best global practices in promotion and development of the IT ecosystem. It is about what you are good at, but most important, it's about what you could do best and ultimately succeed. Dear friends, adapting to the new economic conditions and attracting new investors require a series of further measures to support the economy. In order to contribute to the sustainable development of the Republic of Moldova, the tax policy measures for 2021 are oriented towards a fiscal and customs legislation favorable to economic development. We'll keep cutting and removing some taxes. In order to bring home what we value the most, our people, we will implement next year some policies encouraging creating new jobs and hiring especially Moldova citizens from diaspora. For instance, from January 1st, 21st, we will subsidize entirely the wage-related taxes paid by both employer and employee in case of our people returning back home. Despite current challenging times, we are all living in a world of great potential for cooperation, for building, developing and strengthening partnerships. I would like to conclude by encouraging all our partners and friends to look at Moldova with confidence, to gain the momentum and consider the untapped great potential of one of Europe's emerging markets and investment destinations, building up on wide opportunities and strengths. I thank you very much for your attention. I'm looking forward to meet all of you here in Moldova and, of course, to obey to business to you. Thank you, Prime Minister. The European Union is one of the main strategic partners for Moldova, contributing to its durable development and global economic integration. Due to its continuing support, Moldova has increased its presence internationally. The rate, the share of exported goods and services for 2019 accounts uh, almost 70% to European markets, while 80% of FDI are injected by European investors. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to invite to this stage His Excellency, the EU Ambassador to the Republic of Moldova, Mr. Peter Mihalko. Dear Mr. Prime Minister, dear colleagues, ambassadors, distinguished entrepreneurs, honored guests, I'm glad to participate at the opening ceremony of the main business-related event in Moldova, Moldova Business Week 2020. Let me start by having a look at the EU-Moldova trade in a longer perspective. We are glad to see that the deep and comprehensive free trade area is bearing fruit in Moldova. The trade statistics prove its success. In 2019, the European Union consolidated its position as Moldova's largest trading partner, accounting for 56% of Moldova's total trade and 64% of Moldovan exports went to the European Union last year, and this year shows the similar dynamics. Since the introduction of the free trade area, Moldovan exports to the European Union have grown by 62%. In 2019, 
1,137 Moldovan companies were exporting to the European Union, which represents an increase of 48% since 2015, so only in four years. Despite the challenging context, a similar trend was noted for this year as well. This trade performance is a clear sign of the positive effects of the free trade area for Moldova. I would like also to mention that since the DCFTA's entry into force, the European Union's stock of uh, foreign direct investments in the Republic of Moldova has been constantly growing and even doubled. According to the National Bank statistics, in 2019, 70 percent of all foreign direct investments in Moldova came from the European Union and reached about 2.55 billion euro or 3.05 billion dollars. We are also happy to see the EU investors are present in most of Moldova's economy areas such as industry, financial sector, retail, IT, energy, agriculture, and other sectors. For this trend to continue and for Moldova to benefit from more foreign investments, I cannot underline enough how important is the business climate, legislative predictability and stability, as well as the rule of law. An independent and impartial justice sector with transparent and fair legal proceedings is also essential for Moldova's attractiveness as a proper place for business. This year has been influenced by the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced uh, the entire society, including businesses, to adapt to a new reality. Let me assure you that uh, in this time of global pandemics, Moldova remains an important partner for the European Union within the Eastern Partnership. The association agreement, including the deep and comprehensive free trade area, remain a stable basis for our partnership and also in times that are difficult for all of us and will be one of the main instruments for Moldova in revitalization of its economy from the impact of the pandemic. It is confirmed also by uh, commercial trends uh, this year when the European market remained open and the uh, Moldovan exports continued to uh, be exported to the uh, European markets. The EU remains committed to strengthening the cooperation with Moldova, focused on reforms and delivering tangible benefits to the Moldovan citizens. Following uh, the pandemic, Commission announced an emergency support package for the Eastern Partnership on 30th March uh, this year, working closely with international financial institutions and relevant financing institutions uh, from EU member states together as Team Europe. The short-term response to the crisis on increasing EU support to small and medium-sized enterprises in the countries of the Eastern Partnership, building on existing programs such as uh, DCFTA facility. For six Eastern Partnership countries, the Commission offered uh, 841 million. In addition, Moldova has been benefiting bilaterally from 87 million euros in grant support to help address both the urgent need for medical material as well as to help, to help respond to the negative impacts of the crisis. Several supplies of medical equipment and personal protective equipment have already taken place. The European Commission also proposed an exceptionally exceptional emergency macro-financial assistance to complement this package. For Moldova, is foreseen an amount of 100 million euros. These examples show that the European Union stays committed to supporting Moldova in building its social and economic resilience, and that the European Union helps with concrete actions and significant amounts. This comes together with our standard instruments. Tens of millions of euros are available in credit lines in Moldovan banks for companies and SMEs. Tomorrow, for example, we will see a signature of another agreement that will further strengthen existing credit lines. 
they are coming with the EU financial support. However, the European Union wants also to see determination from the Moldovan authorities to implement reforms based on the association agreement, in particular as regards reforming the justice sector and fighting corruption and vested interest. This also includes the long-standing uh, long outstanding lack of substantial progress on the investigation of the major banking fraud of uh, 2014 and of the laundromat scandal, where neither uh, the prosecution of those responsible has been finalized, nor have the stolen assets been recovered. The way how Moldova tackles this issue is a litmus test uh, of the credibility of anti-corruption efforts in the country for creation of a favorable business environment. We await also stronger steps in demonopolizing uh, markets to ensuring equal conditions for the participants on the markets and to stop concerted attacks on private business. Some recent developments in the financial sector which are of concern. There must be a strong guarantee of re irreversibility of the already achieved reforms as well as fair treatment of investors. We noted that weak justice system as well as weak regulators might put again Moldova's financial system stability at risk and uh, the, uh, there are concrete cases, including in the insurance sector and in the banking sector, that raise concern over the attitude of judiciary and prosecution. The European Union for a long time has been asking for depoliticizing public institutions, especially the regulators, the judiciary and the prosecution system. I want to thank to all of those entrepreneurs who by their activity bring necessary new standards. Especially I want to thank the European Business Association in Moldova that has been providing for years its expertise for improvement of business uh, environment uh, in the country. It seems uh, to be a long way to go to ensure strong independent institutions uh, and structural weakness uh, from the past cannot be overpassed easily. We are still hoping and waiting for the political class to have transparent dialogue and build consensus uh, on the need to modernize the country in line with democratic uh, and rule of law uh, requirements. Recovery from the impact of uh, the COVID-19 crisis brings uh, a new competition for investments. With the association agreement and the DCFTA, Moldova has the best instruments to attract the international investors and to encourage also domestic investments. But the reform process must continue and regress must stop. The results of the presidential elections on 15th November represent a clear call from the Moldovan voters and a strong mandate to tackle corruption and vested interests in the country and to restore respect for the rule of law. This call of the citizens has to be answered. So I would like to address to all of you, dignitaries and public servants, foreign and domestic business, citizens and mass media, it is time to say no to all practices. It is time to restore the social contract between citizens and the state and to fill it up with good practices, bringing prosperity, economic growth and better life to all. The European Union is here to help and contribute. I'm sure that Moldova can make it and together we are stronger. Thank you for your attention and I want to wish to all of you success. Thank you, Excellency, for joining us. Dear ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to introduce another faithful partner of Moldova, which assistance aims to contribute to my country to consolidate its democratic institutions, increase prosperity, and secure internationally recognized borders. I'm glad to offer the floor to this virtual stage to His Excellency, the United States Ambassador to the Republic of Moldova, Mr. Derek J. Hogan. Dear Mr. Prime Minister Kiku, dear ministers, dear ambassadors, ladies and gentlemen, I am delighted to join you for this virtual opening of Moldova Business Week. These have proven eventful weeks for Moldova. We again congratulate President-elect Sandu on her election 
and look forward to working with her to strengthen bilateral trade and investment and to expand economic opportunities for all Moldovans. We also continue to support Moldova as we face the COVID-19 pandemic challenges together. I commend Moldova's businesses for their resilience and flexibility during these difficult times. I have been incredibly impressed with how this community has come together in the face of COVID-19 challenges. For example, local toy company Edujok adapted production to make face shields for Moldovan's first responders and masks for persons with disabilities. Moldova's automotive companies retooled to make personal protective equipment. Spirits producers started supplying hand sanitizer. Hospitality group Horeca Group provided mails to frontline doctors and nurses. Telecom firms provided free internet to support schools when education shifted online. And the list goes on and on. I'm also proud of how our embassy helped to address some of the challenges Moldova is facing during this pandemic. To give just one example, USCID facilitated a country-level partnership with Google for Education, which provided digital tools for remote education to Moldovan schools and teachers. And we have seen innovation and creativity across the country. During this pandemic, ICT and creative industries have shown their adaptability as drivers of economic growth in Moldova. The forward-looking policies Moldova has put into place allow this sector to seize these digital opportunities. For example, the innovative law on IT parks have strengthened the investment climate here. Despite COVID-19, our business focus in Moldova has not changed to grow bilateral trade and investment. And we are seeing more U.S. products on Moldovan shelves and vice versa. Moldova's emerging wine exports to the U.S. market grew by 40% in 2020, despite or perhaps thanks to the pandemic. Moldovan farmers are adopting improved varieties and hybrids bred in the United States by industry leaders like Heinz Seeds and Corteva AgroSciences. Orhe Viet exports jams and juices to the U.S. and is a PepsiCo supplier in Europe. USAID is connecting Moldovan companies and investors with international partners, bringing capital and resources together to grow businesses, expand markets, generate greater returns, and bring Moldovan products to the world. As Moldova embraces smart technology and moves to 5G to help attract investment, we are urging the government to ensure a clean path where trusted vendors and networks provide a reliable, transparent, and secure approach. I encourage officials and businesses owners to work with Western companies to build a future that benefits all Moldovans. Fighting corruption would improve Moldova's investment climate and build an economy with such benefits. Maintaining the independence of Moldova's national bank is critical to protecting its financial systems and send another signal to potential investors that this is a safe place to invest. Before I conclude, I want to highlight the special role the American Chamber of Commerce, or AmCham, plays in Moldova. This year in particular, AmCham members showed their dedication to helping Moldova fight the COVID-19 pandemic. AmCham members provided and, and procured COVID-19 tests, donated funds for the government to purchase equipment to fight the pandemic, delivered potable water to patients in hospitals and medical providers, and much more. I have never been prouder to be AmCham's honorary president than I am today. When U.S. companies invest in a market, they bring more than just capital. They bring new technologies, best practices to develop human resources and leadership skills, and of course, create jobs. I hope many U.S. companies will choose Moldova, and our embassy wants to partner with you in building those relationships. We want the best for Moldova, and we see great potential here. Thank you very much. And I will not uh, miss the chance to put a question to you. You have uh, living in Moldova together with family almost two years already, uh, traveling the country, meeting people, entrepreneurs. What are your personal impressions about Moldova and what would you say to potential investors about coming to Moldova? Thank you for that question, Radika. 
I have been fortunate to serve as U.S. Ambassador here and to live in Moldova with my family. I have been impressed with the ingenuity and entrepreneurial spirit of the Moldovan people. And with their hospitality, from the bread and salt offered when welcoming me in a new city, to the traditions of Moldovan music and food they have shared, all have made me and my family feel very welcome here. The entrepreneurial spirit of Moldova's people also continues to inspire me. I see Moldovans who have lived abroad and returned to start a business who want a brighter future for themselves and their families. For example, Andre Sarush brought this experience and know-how from Switzerland to grow berries in Mana or Hay. I even see innovation in the wine sector. Great growing technologies such as the pergola and gable vine training maximize the quality and productivity of grape growing. These systems have been adapted by more than 20 USAID beneficiaries, resulting in 5.7 million in expanded investment. I'm sure there are many fans of Moldovan wine in this virtual audience. Some Moldovan wine companies have used U.S. technology to improve their technique and harvest quality. Moldovan wine growers have even used American oak barrels to age the best Moldovan wines, responding to Western market preferences. Of course, there are still many challenges here too, and why the United States strives to be a good partner in helping Moldova to meet them. We want to see Moldova use trusted vendors for technology solutions, like a secure, clean path to 5G. We want to see Moldova more resilient to foreign malign influence, with stronger democratic institutions, and supporting investment without fear of IP theft. We want to see more trade and investment between our countries. That's one reason why I'm here speaking with you today. I also want to make one last plug for AmCham before I leave. If you are a U.S. company thinking about investing in Moldova, AmCham is your best partner on the ground right here in Moldova. Thanks very much, Rodika, and I wish you success. Thank you, Excellency, and we wish you great success further. Dear audience, we've done with the festive opening of our event, and we can proceed further with the agenda. And the Moldova Business Week is the country economic platform that covers it all, uniting all the stakeholders, state institutions, private sectors, entrepreneurs, partners for developing, to come here and to provide you a broad vision. In order to unveil the country economic ambitions, to provide more reasons and facts about Moldova, I'd like to invite to the stage my colleague from the agency, the head of the brand promotion department, Irina Tolstousov.